We offered something here today that is really out there on the leading edge, and many of you felt it, and we want to examine it a bit more and amplify it a bit more because we think that this is the next logical step for so many of you. So I'm living whatever I'm living. Maybe it's an art business that I've let go. Maybe it's a relationship that doesn't feel good anymore. Maybe it's a bodily condition that is not optimum. Maybe it's a financial situation that's far from what I want. So what is, is what is. And as I talk about what is, as I observe what is, as I join groups about what is, I express a vibration of what is forward into my experience, which means my future experience is full of things like my now. But if I can let what is be in an attitude of making peace with it, not pushing against it, but understanding that where I am is where I am, and then I make an effort to find the positive aspects in where I am. I make an effort to turn downstream, so to speak, about where I am. Now what happens is, even though it's not changing immediately, my future experience that I'm floating in the direction of is changing. So the thing that we think has tripped so many of you up is this business of not being able to quantify your journey. Is this business of being so aware of where I am that I can't find a good thought about it because I don't want to be here. And we want you to understand that if you could just let go of that attitude that I don't want to be here and start calling here temporary because it is. Where I am is temporary and where I'm going is temporary too. It's all temporary and it's all part of this moving stream. If you can begin to accept that it is a moving stream and that downstream are all of the things that you've been asking for, and as you are more deliberately pointed downstream, even though it's going to take a while for you to float into the vicinity of the lover you're looking for and of the money that you want and of the resources that you need for your new business and for all of these hows and wheres and whens and whys, as you begin to deliberately turn in the direction of that which you have become and you let the way you feel guide you, what begins to happen is the evidence of your turning begins to show up immediately. So it gets easier and easier because at first you're sort of taking it on faith. You're finding a better feeling thought for the ridiculous reason that it just feels better. And humans say, oh, there's got to be a better motive than that. In other words, it's not enough for it to just feel better. I want a promise that if I feel better long enough that what I want is going to be there. And we say, there's a problem with that because that's an upstream thought. When you say, I am willing to think thoughts that feel good for the motive of getting something that I want that I currently don't have, now you've lost as much as you've gained. Can you feel that? But when you say, I'm willing to reach for this thought because it feels better, and the fact that it feels better means that even though I'm not in complete alignment with who I am, I'm moving in the direction of that alignment. And further, it's the best I can do right here. It is enough. It's, it is enough. It is enough. That is the ultimate of making peace with where I am. Hear this. It's the most powerful thing that we have said to you ever. Until you have made peace with where you are, you cannot float downstream. Until where you are, even in the absence of everything you want, is all right with you, you cannot turn in the direction of what you want. As long as you are beating up on yourself even a little bit for where you are, if you are beating up on yourself even a little bit for where you are, you're upstream and the gap is widening, not closing. Now I want to leave you with one powerful thought. Jerry and Esther were on this river in Colorado, and the river, as we told you, was having its way with them. And even though they could paddle very hard upstream. They could have made themselves exhausted. They could have worn out every muscle. They could have worn out all their body parts. They could have paddled and 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 paddled against that current. Still, you know what that current would do to them. They're paddling against it, but guess what? They're still moving in the direction of what they want. And the reason that we tell you that is because the stream of well-being is so powerful. It is so powerful. 
that you cannot, no matter how hard you try, no matter the words you find or the action you find, you cannot fight this current of life. And you will understand it in the moment that you die. As you close that gap immediately, you will then, and maybe only then, really understand the value that you have lived here in this life experience. Everything that we've offered here today is toward the end of you understanding that you don't have to wait until you die to close the gap and that you don't and can't close it all at once and that it is enough just to reach for the better feeling thought and as you make that your habit as you say I only have two choices in a thought one that feels worse or one that feels better and I'm oriented toward the thought that feels better your life begins improving dramatically today your emotions feel better you get in sync with who you are faster and this is the part you like best those things that have been waiting for you in vibrational escrow start making their way into your experience. And those who are watching you from the outside of you, which is everybody else, is saying things to you like, you just seem happier. They're saying to you things like, it seems to me that you get everything that you want. They begin saying to you things like, I don't know what you've got going on, but you feel like a different person. And as you say to them softly, the beginning of what you've heard here, I've come to understand that I am far more than I see here in this physical body. But being in this physical body is the reason for my most expansion as a being. And I can feel the love that Source has for me about that expansion. I can feel how much Source loves my providing the avenue of their expansion. And one day it just occurred to me, I am a source of expansion for that which man calls God. And I can feel that that which man calls God wants me in on it too. And so I'm turning more and more in the direction of things that make me feel good. My new orientation is to praise, not criticize. My new orientation is to appreciate, not blame. My new orientation is to love me, not doubt me. My new orientation is to look for the benefit in you. My new orientation is to look wherever I am for positive aspects. My new orientation is today, no matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing, and no matter who I'm doing it with, to look for that which I'm wanting to see. And I have come into alignment, you'll tell your friend, with who I am. And I gotta tell you, it's sweet. It feels good. It feels good, and that's the bottom line of it. But the side benefits are, I'm richer for it. I'm healthier for it. I'm clear-minded for it. I'm more flexible for it. My relationships are better for it. My world has come into alignment. I can feel that I have finally become who life has caused me to be. There is so much love for that which you are. We want you to know that you are the extension of that which we are and that we would not expand as we are if it were not for the likes of you. You will never be able to feel in this physical form the intensity of the appreciation that Source feels for you, but you can get close if you get pointed downstream, and that is our wish for you. We will never stop calling you, we will never stop knowing you in that way, and we will never, not one time ever, ever catch you in a lie or see you in a flaw, because as far as we are concerned, you are perfect beings in the state of eternal evolution. There is great love here for you, and for now, we are complete.